are... Moon, you know what I've said about interrupting my card games. Yeah, sorry. Uh, there's someone who wants to meet you. Hello, Mr. Earth. It's an honor. I came here to... Whoa! Are you a new planet? I've never seen you before. Why does everyone think I'm a pla... No, I'm a moon named Titan. Hey, I think I've seen you from afar. You're Saturn's favorite moon, right? What did he call you? He's Middle Earth? Wait, what? What's up with that name? Oh, it's because Titan's Mountains are named after famous mountains from the Lord of the Rings books. Oh, I, for a moment I thought you were implying he was... But it's also because you both made of rock, have atmospheres, volcanoes... What, volcanoes? Isn't he, like, very cold? Ice volcanoes. Oh, that sounds way cooler. What? No! How is ice cooler than lava? Well, it literally is. But anyways, you both also have lakes and rivers. Nobody else does, for what I know. <laughs> so? Does he have an ocean, huh? Under his surface. And not just any ocean, liquid water. So it's possible he could sustain life. Stop! Don't say it! He's just a moon, okay? We're nothing alike. Oh, come on, don't be rude. No! Moons should know their place. Keep saying silly things like this, and you'll make them think they can become planets like us! Hey, so... Titan! What's up? I came here to meet you. Uh-huh. And? Any thoughts? Disappointed. Well, that was rude! Hey, Mars. You got a bad hand going there, old buddy? Shut up. Whoa! Okay. Did you hear that, Moon? Yes. He told you to shut up. Hey! Why is everyone being rude to me today? We're being rude? Earth, you just insulted Saturn's moons. And all moons, for that matter. What did I say? That moon should know their place. I... Uh, yes, that may have come out wrong. But what I meant is that you think you're better than the moons. In fact, you think you're better than the rest of us, don't you? Well, I have life, don't I? Seriously, Here we go. Dude, as you're arrogant as always. You're all becoming you just as unlikable as Venus. That's so hard. Guys, I... I can't help being special. Earth, having life doesn't make you special. Oh, please, elaborate. If you multiply the rate of star formations with a fraction of stars that may have planets, and then multiply that with the number of planets that could sustain life, and then that with the average lifetime of a planet, we get... Uh, Jupiter? At minimum. 1.4 billion planets potentially like you in our galaxy, Earth. But I... I work so hard. I put up with so much to be a, a, a good home for my Earthlings. But I'm not... special? The universe is big. There's at least two of everything. Sorry. You know what could really make you special? If you stop being so arrogant and apologize to Titan. And if I don't? Then you can play solitaire, dude. Oh, I... I get it now. Ah. Hey, bruh. What's up? Okay. What's your angle? No angle. Just vibing, uh, best friend? Earth, while I'm flattered, Mars is your best friend. Well, not anymore. Him and the moon are forcing me to apologize because I think moons are not as cool as planets. Huh? I mean, is that the whole story? Moons should know their place. Pretty much. Then, I mean, who cares? Exactly! Oh, I was this close to apologizing, but you made me reconsider things, best friend. Can you not call me that? It's pretty awkward. Earth, don't do this. What do you want, Mercury? To stop whatever this is. You'll just end up reinforcing each other's bad traits. Bad traits? Hey, the Earth and I are neighbor planets. In fact, why shouldn't we be friends? We share almost the same size, mass, density, and volume. Some even believe we were formed at the same time. I'm basically Earth 2.0. Yeah, should I state the obvious? 
You know what, Mercury? If you're gonna tell Venus for the hundredth time that he can't have life, then save it. Come on, Venus. Let's go. Yeah! Let's go, best friend! Okay, you're right. That's pretty awkward. Well, hey! Watch out where you toss those! He's just being a spoil sport. All right, Venus. Now, I know you're still learning, but how about you try to hit me with that next one and not someone who isn't even part of the game? All right. You want to see me toss a real home run? Uh, wrong sport, dude. But I like the enthusiasm. Go for it. Ouch! God, what's the deal, Venus? I don't want to play with you two, so you hit me with an asteroid? What's the matter, Mars? Are you afraid I'll hit one of your moons? Oh, is that what this is about? You're jealous that I have two moons and you don't have any? I'd rather have no moons than have the lamest ones in the entire solar system! All right, that one went too far. I thought I could just leave you and Earth to do whatever this is and stay out of it, but clearly I can't. Let's settle this once and for all. Maybe we should! I'm sick of your... Well, I can't think of anything right now, but when I do... Oh, I'm terrified! All right, enough! I understand that there's a lot of unresolved issues between the two of you, but a fight won't help with that. Let's settle this like adults. Welcome to the Solar System's first Who's a Better Friend to the Earth competition! Today's contestants, Venus and Mars! That's not even what we were arguing about. Yeah, because if it were, I'd beat you by default! You know what, Venus? Being a good friend is more than just hanging out with someone, okay? It's also about helping them improve as, you know, planets. Oh, and you think turning your back to your friend makes you the righteous one? Please. <laughs> I'm talking here. Let's start with the first contest, the one that got this competition rolling, the solar system's favorite ball game, Asteroid Dodgeball. I've never understood that game. Does it have points or goals? Well, from how I understand it, they just chuck rocks at each other and whoever gets hit first loses. Oh. Face it, Mars. I may have never played this game before, but we both know I'm bigger and stronger than you. If you think being bigger gives you an advantage, then you're dumber than I thought. I'll show you dumb! Oh, interesting. Venus is attracting asteroids at a much stronger rate. He sure is! What's going on? Well, Venus is much denser than Mars, and thus has a higher gravitational pull. That also means that the asteroids have a much easier time hitting him as soon as they enter his gravitational field. It's like he's pulling them in. Oh, so he's the underdog! Kinda makes me want to root for him. Go, Venus! Oh! He's using his gravity to pull them into orbit just like moons. But with their strong velocity, they'll be flying right back at Mars. Whoops! Oh, hey! How did that happen? That settles it! Round one goes to Venus. What, really? What, really? That, that's awesome! Woohoo! <laughs> I knew I was better at this! Take that, Mars! You gotta be kidding me. You didn't even- Sorry, Mars. Venus won fair and square. You gotta try harder if you want to prove that you're the better friend. Ugh, why do I even bother? Time for our second contest! Welcome to my Goldilocks zone for our second contest. If you want to be my friend- Seriously rethinking that one right now. Seriously evaluating that one right now. You gotta be a lot like me! So let's find out who's more hospitable to life! How are we supposed to know that? We're both dead worlds. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure Astro Dude almost died on both of us. Well, ask Astro Dude which one of you killed him less than, I guess. You really are making these up as you're going along, huh? Chew! Go find Astro Dude! Hey! Earthling! What the? Oh, oh it's you. <laughs> what is it this time? I'm getting ready for a mission. This is more important than some dumb Earthling mission! 
It really isn't. Yes, it is. We need you to settle which one of us is more hospitable for life. Uh, all right. Well, you're both not really hospitable for life. I mean, I almost died of asphyxiation, poisoning, and just general cold on Mars. I almost died of, well, basically anything, but especially the heat on Venus. Well, heat is nicer than cold, though, right? But doesn't life need heat? Well, it's all about balance. That's what Earth's Goldilocks zone is about. Although Venus is kind of also inside of it. But there is still a reason why us Earthlings have been looking at Mars as a future home over Venus. Venus is just too hot. Your atmosphere keeps all of the CO2 inside, causing an intense greenhouse effect. Mars might be cold, but it doesn't melt our equipment. So while you're both bad for life, one of you is impossible for life, even in a protective suit. So what you're saying is... You're not the best holiday destination, Venus. You're kind of the worst for us. Uh, no offense. Well, that settles it. I'm better for life. Hooray. Congratulations, Mars. You might win this one yet. He won't. So what's up next? I don't know yet. I honestly thought Mars would win both of these, so I didn't think of a third one. What? Are you kidding me? No reason to get upset. That only shows how good you are at this. I'll think of something. Uh, let's meet here again, same time tomorrow, for the final challenge. I'll figure something out. Ugh, fine. Until tomorrow, then. You might as well stay home. There's no way you're beating me. Hey, Earth, what are you doing? What are you talking about? This is the Who's a Better Friends of the Earth competition. Did you not listen? Well, I did, but why are you doing that? And they just had a little argument. Well, apparently, little arguments are super important now. When I had a little argument with Titan, the moon and Mars didn't want to hang out with me anymore. So, is this your elaborate plan to get his friendship back? Look, best case scenario, Venus and Mars fight amongst themselves to be my friend. And worst case scenario, you lose all of your friends. <laughs> that's not gonna happen. You'll see, tomorrow we'll end this contest and the best planet will have the honor to be my best friend. Just you wait. All right, you do you, Earth. So, are we ready to get started? Just a moment. Venus is about to show up, I'm, I'm sure of it. Or he won't. Uh, maybe Venus is the better planet for not playing along with this. But listen, Earth, I've been- No! No talking! But if Venus isn't coming, then I guess that means that he loses by default. Hey, guys. What are you doing here already? Earth said tomorrow, same time. That's now. No, it's not. It's way too early. Are you trying to cheat, Mars? Cheat? For this? Hey, calm down. I'm sure you just got your time zones wrong. Time zones? Well, a day is the time it takes for a planet to spin all the way around its axis, right? For Mars and me, that's almost the exact same time. How long is a day for you? Uh, about 5,832 hours. So, we met up really early for you then, huh? Yeah, I really want to win this. I can see that. Unfortunately, that still means that Mars won. You didn't even show up for the contest. What? I did exactly what you told me to do. I'm sorry, friend. This is a competition. There's always a loser. But congratulations to Mars for winning the esteemed title of being my best friend. Oh, stop it with this whole best friend thing. I have had it with you. Now, I thought this was going somewhere that you could change, but you've made this all about yourself again, just like with Titan. You make us fight it out with your favorite sport, you make a show who's closer to your hospitality, and you drag Venus into this just, just for what? Validation? What? No, you got it all wrong. I was trying to show you that you're actually a lot like me, and I don't care what you wanted to show. What you did show is who you are. My water may kill Earthlings if they drink it, Venus might have heavy metal pools on his surface, but we're both not nearly as toxic as you! Mars, stop! Well, uh, I guess that makes you the winner by default. Uh, congratulations, new best friend. You're only friends with me for validation? Of course not, Venus. And now stop worrying and let's play some asteroid dodgeball. Wait, Venus, where are you going? This wasn't a real friendship, was it? Well, of course it was. I need you, Venus, because you, you stabilize my axis and keep me habitable, uh, but, but also as a friend. Oh, please, I, I can't be alone. What am I doing wrong? <sighs> ah, 
Great. Now my two closest friends have decided they hate me. This is so unfair. When have I ever... Oh, and my moon! That too! He better apologize when he comes back. It's not like the Earthlings need him or anything. I hope they hold on. Which put a tragic end to this year's summer football season. In other news, after preliminary reports in the form of what people are seeing with their eyes, scientists have finally confirmed that the moon is gone. It literally disappeared. While there is no official explanation as to what has happened yet, strange weather events and tidal changes have been occurring all over the globe. Doomsday preachers from all over the world are asking the question, Is this one actually it? Get back inside. Whatever's going on, it can't be good. I really hope your daddy's alright, and that the people in charge have a plan. Everybody, relax. We can't be at each other's throats if we want to- Even for you? That is low, China. Stealing the moon? What is this, a Bond movie? If you really think we could steal the moon without you noticing, your surveillance technology must be even worse than we thought. But of course, you're only blaming us because you stole the moon. What would we need the moon for? What would we need the moon for? Enough already! This is not our first rodeo, now is it? The moon has mysteriously disappeared before, and we always got it back. Thankfully, we have a man in space for that. He handled it last time, he can do it again. Are you certain that your man in space can solve this problem before it turns into a catastrophe? I would bet $30 on it. Hey, so, have you spoken to the Earth lately? No. You? Nuh-uh. I guess you stopped being friends then. Yeah, he just wanted to be friends for validation or whatever. You were right. I'm sorry, man. Ugh, I wish the Earth would just reflect for once. You know, I don't like being on these terms with him, but I can't just forgive him over and over and- Hey, no matter what the Earthlings said centuries ago, the universe doesn't revolve around them, okay? This is for the best. The Earth will be okay. Ugh, you're right. Maybe I'm getting a little too worried. Things are looking dire. While we wait for the Mission General of Rotsar to give us the moon back somehow, weather conditions have worsened much faster than scientists originally predicted. What began as the tides growing weaker quickly led to a complete upheaval of the seasons and the day-night cycle, with some parts of the world fully losing access to sunlight, while others don't experience nightfall anymore. Astro Dude! Why won't you respond? I wish I could fire him right into the sun! <sighs> I hope whatever he's doing is important. He might not have an Earth to come back to. Without the moon to balance our planet's axis, the Earth is becoming increasingly unstable. I mean, it was one argument, right? Titan needed validation, not me. He was like, oh, I'm just like you, Earth. What does a moon like him know about what being Earth is like, huh? What having warring humans that might just fall over dead if anything goes wrong feels like. That's all I told him, and now they're all acting like I'm crazy or something. Exactly, Earth. You did nothing wrong. Titan was just jealous. I don't know why I reacted that strongly either. And I just started accusing you of stuff out of nowhere. You know how hot-headed I can get. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, don't cut yourself short. Yes, I was kind of playing you up against each other, but I had my reasons. Exactly, and that's all that matters. A good friend would forgive absolutely everything you do to him, no matter how insecure and cruel. I... insecure and cruel? Well, I wouldn't say... Of course you were! We tried being honest with you and you doubled down on your flaws until we couldn't take it anymore. But that's just what best friends do, right? Okay, this is getting weird. But you can't be okay with this, right? Well, why wouldn't we be, pal? Cause... Cause you're my friends. Cause you tell me when I screw up. Cause you don't let me get away with everything. Cause you're... Honest? Who needs honesty? You just want everyone to come back to you and tell you that it's all good, right? What? No, I... Cause that's how it usually goes, isn't it? Your Earthlings are so important. Everybody has to respect that, right? It doesn't even matter that you treat everyone around you like garbage. They should be sorry. They should apologize to you. Hey, stop it. Well, I didn't treat anyone like garbage. Sure, I made mistakes, but... Well, what about me? The one who keeps catching asteroids for you? Who keeps your axis in check for your Earthlings? That 
is in I deal with your fix. I deal with your earthlings on my surface. I help you when you get in trouble. I always come back, and you... Stop it! You know that I appreciate you for being just a moon? That's what you said, Earth, that we can't be anything else. Well, you know what? I had enough of you, and I'm never coming back! So, welcome back. Well, did your man bring back the moon? I think I remember you making certain promises. Uh, not yet, but we have been exploring alternative solutions. Alternatives to what? To having a moon? Uh, yes, actually. See, our scientists crunch the numbers, and turns out we're not dying out. What is this capitalist trying to say? I'm saying that we can survive without a moon for a while. True, humanity needed the moon to develop and stabilize the Earth, but the changes to the axis are pretty small right now and will be for centuries at least. If we all start working together and providing relief efforts all over the world, we can get people prepared for their new climates and the way they will change. We can build new environments to live in if we invest money into the new way of living. We could- So you're saying that because you failed, the Earth will become much worse to live on and now you want us all to pool resources? <laughs> Until what? The axis shift gets so bad that we'll just die out? We could also try to go to Mars. Okay, I'm done funding your company. You're gonna lose so much more than 30 bucks now. You can say that again, bruh. Hello? Mission General of Ratsar here. What the? The moon is back? Oh, according... The plan? Uh, who? Uh, who's? Wait. Hey, Earth. Moon? You... You're back? Yes. I... I think we need to talk. Understand. Why are you back? Sorry it took me so long. I had to try to fix the mess you created, but I couldn't do much. Now there's a whole moon uprising going on, led by Titan and Ganymede, and... Yeah. Wait, so... You didn't really abandon me? You were actually... helping me? Why? After everything I said... I... Listen, Earth. How long have we known each other? A couple million years? Exactly. I've seen you through all your phases. You weren't always like this, you know? You tried more than anyone to develop life, and you succeeded and achieved your dreams. But then you changed. The Earthlings took advantage of you, polluted your oceans, destroyed your forests, all while searching for another place to escape to once they're done with you. None of us have been through that. You're wrong. What? Well, I mean, you're right, but what? Is that my excuse? I shouldn't try harder? Uh, w w what are you saying? I'm saying that I suck and that I don't deserve your friendship. You don't de What? How did you do it, Mad Lad? How did you get the moon to return? Well, I, uh, you know, called some contacts here and there and, uh, poof, moon is back. I've decided I'm happy with this explanation. Hey, America, this moon situation has made me reflect, and I came to a conclusion. We must all unite to make a better world. I hear you, China. World peace, babe. Wait, comrade. Moon is missing again. Oh, that moon. It's probably hiding over there. Where? <laughs> hey, uh, Mercury, I need some help. Look, it better not be about the Earth, because I'm done. No, it's... Well, yes, it's the Earth, but he seems very different. It's like he... wants to change. I'm not buying it, and you should know better than to... Just come with me, okay? Do you know what's the best time to eat sushi? Wait for me! Sunrise! <laughs> okay, that one was pretty good. Where's the moon, you thief? Come on, where would I hide it? 
Maybe it's in the warehouse of Rotsar or something. Do you even know how big the moon is? <laughs> Not bigger than your ma'am. No, oh, come on, Ag, Canada. It's so uncomfortable. What's ma wrong with you? Wait, look. Now we have two moons. Ta-da! Ugh, I already told you, Moon. I don't want to be your friend. You see? Good old Earth. Wait, wait, wait. And why not? Because I don't deserve it. I'm a... an egocentric narcissist who deserves to be alone. Well, you do know that if you are alone, your Earthlings won't survive for long. They either leave me and find a better home elsewhere, or they deserve to go extinct. Whoa, whoa, okay. You were kidding, Moon. I told you. He's like at the bottom of the barrel. What now? Earth, do you want to be better? I don't know. Do you want to keep hurting others? N no. Then you want to be better. What are you getting at? We can help you, but you have to let us help you. And you have to put the work towards improvement. But what if I don't deserve... Ah, uh, stop with the self-pity. He's telling you that you can... It's your choice, Earth. You have to take the first step towards self-improvement. You've outdone yourself, my good sir. Not only did you return the moon, but... You gave us another moon. Oh, what can I say? I'm good at my job. You know what? What do you say I close NASA and make Rotsar our main space agency? Really? Well, well, well uh, I would have to check with my... Nope. The moons are gone again. You're not really bringing the moons back, right? Uh, no, not really. Okay. I'm withdrawing my funding and assets from Rotsar. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Ooh. And you owe $30 to each of us, okay? Okay. Do you accept credit card? Visa or MasterCard? Visa. Okay. So, what do you want to do while we wait on the Earth? Do you think he's actually going to come? Look, the Earth hurt a lot of us. He needs to reflect on what he's done and take the first steps. Well, he's depressed, he's not thinking straight, and he's talking about the extinction of the Earthlings like it's nothing! I mean, yeah, but... I understand your plan, Mercury, but we need to help him take the first step. <sighs> Do you know where the Earth is? Yes, I know. I'm just... He's not where he's supposed to be. Hmm. Well, let's circle the Goldilocks zone, then. Okay. Uh, haven't we been here before? I don't know. Space can sometimes look pretty samey. That's because you only focus on orbiting the Earth. Us planets focus on our solar orbit, so I know we've been here before. But then, where's the Earth? I'm gonna miss working with you, NASA. Have you told Astro Dude about this situation? Ah, he's been missing for some time now. Besides, it's not like things are gonna change for him, am I right? He's already in space. Sure. Want a hug for old time's sake? Nope. Okay. Huh. Is this like a goodbye party thingy? No, it's... Oh, no. What? What? The Earth is heading to the sun. Everyone will be happier this way. Earth? Uh, you know you're about to exit the Goldilocks zone, right? Yes. I don't care anymore. Um, but wait! What about your Earthlings? They don't care about me. But you care about them! 
Come on! You're not thinking straight! My Earthlings have been looking for a way to leave me for a long time now, okay? Nobody should be close to me. Nobody wants to, so I'll just do them a favor and speed up the process. Hey, come on, stop! I'll... If you get any closer, I'll... Shoot a solar flare? I don't care. NASA dude, what's the status? Okay, so the Earth is moving away from the Goldilocks zone at a steady pace. And what pace is that? Look at it this way. The Goldilocks zone is about 0 0.95 and 1.37 astronomical units. Let's pretend I don't know what that is. An astronomical unit is the distance between the Earth and the Sun. Which is? 93 million miles. Okay, phew, so we have time. Uh, sir, we're currently heading towards the Sun at uh, 1 million miles per hour. Just tell me how much time we have before we exit the Goldilocks zone! Uh, less than five hours. My God! Earth? Earth? Come on, there's no sound in space. Yeah, and planets can't talk or move outside their orbits. We've been ignoring the laws of physics for a while now, okay? I'm sorry. I'm... I know, you're worried. I'm just not used to talking to moons. All oh, right, you don't... Yeah, I'm moonless. This is literally the closest I've ever been to having a moon. <laughs> Ugh, don't say it like that. What? You don't have a moon. It's not like we're your property. Hey, whoa, I didn't mean it like that. Planets have moons and moons have planets. It's a two-way system in my eyes, uh, the same way we have a sun and the sun has planets. If only everyone could see it that way. I think the other planets just don't think about it because they're comfortable with the way things are. Well, look where that got them. Right now, there's an entire moon revolution building up and they want to destroy the Earth to send a message or something. Wait, what? Hold on. That's... I see the Earth! Earth! You're way off your orbit! I told you to leave, Moon. Go and orbit someone else. Wait, are you... Are you heading towards the sun? Everyone will be happier, okay? You, Venus, Mars, my Earthlings, everyone will be... That's not true! Listen, we... Just leave me alone! I told you he was unstable! I'm sorry! Oh, yeah. Once we're out of the Goldilocks zone, the Earth will become too hot to live on, we'll be receiving crazy amounts of radiation, and... Guys, in short, we all must evacuate the planet. Only five hours until the world is uninhabitable? How do you expect us to evacuate the planet? Correction, we have two hours. Took me some time to put this presentation together. What? Well, I guess we're all screwed. I'm gonna go and prepare for the end. Yeah, me, me too. Not so fast. We have spy satellites, you know. We know about your contingency plan. Uh, what are you talking about? Uh, we all have huge rockets prepared for an occasion like this. Wait, all of you? Well, the great powers at the very least. Do you have space for me? Build your own rocket, Peru. Oh, come on! Let me into your ship! Hey, I don't have anything to do for you! If you don't let me in your spacecraft, we'll take it! Hey, let me in your ship! Let me in your ship! Silence! Uh, the Earth is speeding up, so we have 30 minutes. I guess my work here is done. Earth, listen to us! I don't want to! Well, you're going to either way! Now, Moon! What are you doing? Drifting you off this path. Stop it! At least let me do this right. My Earthlings are already preparing to escape. I know they've been building spaceships to escape. I know everything they do. I feel everything they do all the time. They'll be better off without me. You all will. That's not true! trying so hard because we want you to try what you're doing is not a solution it feels like a solution it's not 
You know it's not. I'm in pain all the time. Earth, we can't possibly know what it is like to be you. But please give yourself a chance to be happy, to be better. What do you mean I can't go to space? I'm telling you the world's about to... Gah, bye! Your boss doesn't want you to leave the planet? He says this end of the world business is nonsense. Ugh, even now I can't go to space. Hey. What? Despite everything you do, you're not a terrible person. Uh, thanks. Neither are you. <laughs> I know. I always thought having life made me special. I thought you all liked me because of it. And when I thought other planets or moons could have life, I... You felt insecure and made a mess of things. Yes. Then apologize and stop defining yourself on one thing. It's too late. It's not. However, it is hard. But we know you can do it. You say you're in pain and it's all so difficult all the time, but weren't there moments where it felt like it was all worth it? I... I... Earth? Are you okay? Hey, the Earth and I are neighbor planets! In fact, why shouldn't we be friends? You tried more than anyone to develop life, and you succeeded and achieved your dreams! <sighs> Jeez, man. I'm sorry. I just got deep. Um, you wanna keep playing cards? I... I want to try to be better. turn into a red giant from all this stress! Wait, the... the Earth is returning? woo We're not gonna die! Oh, yeah! Oh, oh. space is so freaking weird. Wait, the world's not ending anymore? Huh, that's cool, I guess. What now? Now we get to work! It's not gonna be easy. It wouldn't be worth it if it was. I know it's probably too late to say this, but I'm- Apology accepted, Earth. Everyone will be happier this way. Hey, Earth. You know staring at the sun can cause permanent vision loss, right? Um, yeah. Wait, that also applies to planets? Let's not find that out. Anyways, Mercury's preparing something. Are you? Yes, I'm... I'm good. Let's do this. You've spent too much time outside your orbit, Mercury! When are hey, you- the Earth needs a friend now. You know, after that whole- Yes, yes, I was there! He was aiming at me, if you remember correctly! I remember. Anyways, my plan is to remind the Earth how special he is. But wasn't the root of the problem that the Earth was arrogant? Well, yes. But I'll remind him in a way that humbles him, somehow. Okay? Well, good luck! What's all this? Oh, welcome to my room of self-improvement. Here we can openly discuss our flaws and work to become better planets. Or moons. Okay. Are you all gonna stare at me or... Right? Ahem. Stage one! Earth, let's not sugarcoat it. You have been a bully to your friends and to the moons equally. Yes, I know. Yeah, so any thoughts? Uh-huh. Uh, can you tell us about them out loud? Have you ever wanted something really, really bad? You're talking about having the conditions to sustain life, right? Yes. The dream of every planet. Everyone thought it was impossible for so long. So I put time and effort and sweat and tears in to make it work. And then, the dinosaurs happened. Do you want to talk about that? 
Nah, I'm not ready to open that can of worms. But yeah, after that whole mess, I really went on the grind, kept myself in the Goldilocks zone, rotated with absolute care, and... and I did it! I had life! Intelligent life! And then, it started to hurt. I see. So you don't actually like having Earthlings, then? The worst part is that I do like it! I put up with them, deal with their messes! I guess I just expected them to be... a little grateful. Well, some are grateful, I guess, but some are selfish, and others are just plain evil and... I don't know. It takes a toll on you, you know? You feel so proud and so ashamed of them, all at the same time. Hmm, I see. Well, I guess it's time for stage two, role-playing! I'm all Earthlings now! Ho ho, we can barely live for a century, but we're the most important thing in the universe! What do you want to say to us? I don't want to do this. Yeah, this is weird. Come on, role play with me! I represent all of Balkind! Speak up! I'm growing tired of you. Uh, are you talking to me, or You to... are alive because of me. And if I get off my orbit, or get struck by a meteorite, or if you start a nuclear war, none of you will be left! You think you're killing the Earth? <sighs> All you can do is cause me pain. You, on the other hand, you're one step away from extinction. Uh, well, you make some good points, Mr. Earth. I want you guys to venture into the stars and expand, and to be a good presence in the universe. I want you to go to other planets and make them better, not use them until you're done with them and toss them aside. Some of the things you do make me want to give up and start over. But I still have hope, even just a little. I really do. You know what? I actually feel better. Thank you for this. Maybe I should Wait, not just yet. Don't rush this. Sorry. Now comes stage three. Your methods are really strange, Mercury. Up, up, up. Don't get ahead of yourself. Now, introduce yourself to the planets. Hello? I'm the Earth. You know, it breaks the immersion if no one talks back. Use and... your imagination! Okay, now tell everybody what makes you special. Mercury, are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Go on, Earth. I... <clears throat> I am the Earth. And I am special because in this harsh and chaotic universe, I... I can sustain life. I'm sorry if I sound arrogant. Don't apologize. Just... continue. I also have water, which is quite rare. I also have tons of biomes, like deserts, forests, snowy mountains. I guess that's about it. Okay, not bad. Now tell each planet what makes them special. Uh, Mercury, the thing is, I'm the only one that has life. So? You think that's the only thing that makes a planet special? Come on, give it a try. Well? I mean, you are pretty fast, Mercury. The fastest planet! I can spin around the sun in 88 days. And Venus is the hottest planet, right? Yup. Even if I'm closer to the sun, he's got me beat in that area. And Mars may not have life, but he has tons of great conditions for it. His days also last around 24 hours. He has seasons because of his tilt. No wonder you guys are friends. Jupiter is super massive. He has a storm that's like bigger than me. Really? Yes, really! And Saturn, like, have you seen those rings? And Uranus is tilted almost 90 degrees from his orbit! And a year on Neptune lasts more than an Earthling's lifetime, Earth. and... I think you know where I was going with this by now. What makes us different is what makes us special. I was gonna say planets are cool, but that's... that that's way better. Okay, uh, I think we're ready no. for... there's more. My life, the life I have on my surface, it was never only me, it was all of you. What do you mean? The planet's orbits, 
the balance of the solar system. It, it's why I have life. Without the light of the sun, life would be impossible. Without planets like Jupiter, I'd be bombarded by meteorites day and night. And without you, Moon? I mean, you've been key to life all along, and I've just looked down on you. It's... it's okay, Earth. No, it's not. Thank you, guys. I... I was about to do something stupid, and... And you, you didn't. And everyone will be happier for it. I see that now. I guess it's time to apologize to Mars and Venus. Mars? Venus? Uh, guys? Earth. Moon, you know what I've said about interrupting my card games. Yeah, sorry. Uh, there's someone who wants to meet you. Hello, Mr. Earth. It's an honor.